Hi guys, this is Lynn from T-Brick and I'm back with another MSI laptop. A few weeks ago we took a look at the MSI GS63 VR which was only 17.7mm thin and it had the 1060 NVIDIA Pascal GPU which is great if you love portability but if you want a performance powerhouse then this is the laptop for you. The MSI GT83 VR is clearly aimed as a desktop replacement. It weighs 55 kilograms and is big enough to allow MSI enough space to use the fastest components. You get the Intel Core i7 Skylake processor with 8GB of DDR4 RAM and 256GB NVMe M.2 SSD and a 1TB 7200RPM drive. There are a total of 5 USB 3.0 ports and one Type-C which supports Thunderbolt 3 specs. You also have an HDMI 1.4 port and a mini display port on the back. Coming to what makes the MSI GT83 VR extra special is NVIDIA's fastest GTX 1080 GPU. And not just one, it's got two of them running in SLI mode with a total of 8GB GDDR5X. So exactly how much power does that require? Apparently more than what one power supply can provide, which is the reason you see two of these packaged with the system. It's not just the power, such high-end configuration also requires some amazing cooling. And MSI has three fans with 15 heat pipes inside the GT83 VR. The screen is an 18.4 inch Full HD display which is something that surprised us a bit. Considering the power this laptop has, we think a 4K screen would have been ideal. We asked MSI this question and they mentioned that no one makes a 4K display at 18 inches. If you love good sound, you'd be happy to know that the MSI GT83 VR comes with an ESS Sabre Hi-Fi DAC. It has four speakers and a subwoofer built in on the laptop. The final feature I want to highlight is the Cherry MX Backlit Mechanical Keyboard, again a first for a laptop. It's priced at 19,569 AED or 5,400 USD. We can't wait to test out the MSI GT83 VR laptop and we think it's going to be the fastest laptop we've ever tested, so you can expect a full review on tbreak.com next week. We've also got a few other videos featuring high-end laptops lined up for you, so if you want to be the first to know about them, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. This is Lynn signing out, and for everything else in the world of tech, stay tuned to tbreak.com.